Calf's Brewing Company, October Fist. This episode is brought to you by Boogie Boogie, because, well, he seems like he likes October Fist. Hi, I'm Honey. Oh, Bear. That's Bear. We've got... Wow, strong start. Yeah. Redo? Nope. Rocking it out. We're doing an Oktoberfest tonight. We are. We are. I've never actually, like... I mean, I guess I've had one Oktoberfest that... Yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I didn't like that one, so. It's been quite a while since I've had one, so, you know, I gotta say, and I don't think I've ever really had anything besides something like you know, Sam Adams or Yingling or something that's very box brandy of it, if you will. Or very extremely German, so, you know, there's also that. Just you get the liquid. Like, so, this one, though, we'll see. This is a uh, Taft's uh, Oktoberfest German style lager. So. Yeah. Um, Ain't much going on with this can. It's just kind of really basic. It's got this weird little diamond okay. checkered pattern going on. and Argyle. Argyle. Yeah. It's, got a, it's got a barcode with a guy in a bathtub drinking a beer. And there's a guy in a bathtub drinking a beer. Uh, if you do, please leave a comment below. Cause the government warns you that they shouldn't do things in bathtub drunk, but this guy is anyway. He just came to play right there. And brewed and canned by Taft's Brewing in Cincinnati, Ohio. Wow, so many breweries in Cincinnati. There really are. It's like That's astonishing. another one from Cincinnati. We'll have to like make a checklist how many we've had from Cincinnati. It's got to be like six or seven at this point. I think we need to do a brew tour of Cincinnati one of these days because apparently wow. that's where all the alcohol in the world comes from. Uh, which, I mean, I don't blame them. You know, it is Ohio. There really isn't anything better to do, so. Price point was eight ninety nine a six pack. Rock on. So, very affordable for a craft beer. Um, it does not have an independent label anywhere on it, though. It does have a dude in a bathtub, though. Yes. Uh, it's 5.7 percenter, so yeah. it's good strength. Okay. Ten. Beer. October it's beer. got an interesting smell to it, though. It's, it's a like beer. beer. I can't. I <laughs> well, I they get a point for this for me because you can annoy the crap out of your friends now. I need a little Morse code. Okay, well, it's very. <laughs> it's very. I gotta pour this beer, beer. out of this camp so I quit playing with it. Yeah. That is a very, very cool one. Wow. Oh my. Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Oh yeah. All for Pete's sake. Really good looking head there. Uh, big and small. All sorts of bubbles in there. And wow. That is boodly. It does have a very nice head though. It's pretty. Filtered very well. It's pretty. Pretty dang clear. So, you know, filtration and uh, clarity is right on point. Gold, nice light golden color. Gorgeous head. Very strong smell. But I think that's what it's supposed to be. So. sure what that flavor bad. is yeah it's not bad this is way better than the last uh Oktoberfest I had 
Oh, I agree. It's way better than the last one I had. It's got like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It tastes like leaves, but not gross, I guess. Like, reminds me of fall. It's got this very like earthy kind of thing going on to it, but like a little bit of sweet too in there. It's like the tiniest bit. I don't know. I like it. I'm not a big fan of the smell. Mm. Um, it doesn't have a bad taste to it, though. It's not like over hoppy or nothing like that. You know, it's it's pretty good. It's just a big, to me. It's pretty basic. Yeah. It's pretty basic beer. It is a very um. There ain't ton going on here, and it's not horrible. But it's not nothing's like smacking me in the face like wow. But it's not like I want to pour it out. You know, I guess like. <sighs> I it's would, smooth. I would, it's smooth. It is. It's, it's pretty it's smooth. It's smooth. It's got good carbonation. The head's hanging out really well. Um, I agree with him. It smells a little off. It's got a cool color. Oh, excuse me. It's filtered well. Um, uh, that's um, and you know, like I, I probably would buy it again. Like if, if it was presented, like if it, if I had the choice of like, hey, you have to have just a beer. I would choose this one. You know. But again, like you said, it's not exactly like that. It's not like my socks. So. Overall, I think I'd give it a 7.5. It's pretty good average beer. That's what I would give this. I can't hate on it for any good reason. It's got a good strength, good price point. It's alright. I was going to go um, 7.8 because, um, Again, like I said, it's been a while since I've had an Oktoberfest, so I don't really have much others to base it off of. But no. I can remember. Oh my. No. No. They can't be on the uh, no. overbearing side. So this is actually, you know, it's light and it's it's drinkable. So I'm gonna give it a seven eight. Uh, who knows? That could change in the future after having more experience with some Oktoberfests. But it's, it's October. We're gonna have some more. Mm -hmm. So we have some pumpkin ales, some Oktoberfest all month. Yeah. Jaw. Oh, yeah. Um, if you have any suggestions for Oktoberfest <laughs> or any other seasonal beverages that we should try, please leave a comment below and let us know. And we will do our best to try and find those. Oh, please don't forget to like as well and subscribe. Leave a comment as well, tell us what you think about these. Check out our other pages too. There's somewhere mm -hmm. down here. Go click that bell too. We can stay in front of getting videos out to you. All right, I'm outie. Okay. Goodbye.